Ladies and gentlemen, the year 2017 saw new rehabilitation efforts to bring normalcy to many Fijians who were affected by the destruction wrecked by Cyclone Winston in 2016. In fact, as we meet this morning, some of the, uh, the work is still ongoing and hopefully all the rehabilitation um, work will be completed soon. And I'm pleased to note that the Scout organization also contributed to the rehabilitation efforts spearheaded by our government. And the action by those who were spared, and I'm looking at some of you who were actively involved, in collecting and distributing clothing, food packs, and school resources to those affected is highly commendable, and I'd like to thank you <coughs> most sincerely on behalf of government. I also acknowledge with profound appreciation and gratitude the funding assistance from our overseas counterparts, friends in Australia, Japan, Myanmar, and our Asia Pacific Regional Office in Manila. Now, this act of comradeship is a distinct feature of the World Brotherhood of Scouting, which we are proud to be part of. Our Scout Constitution states that the purpose of our organization is to contribute to the development of our young people. Now, this development aims at achieving their full physical, intellectual, social, and spiritual potential as individuals and to be responsible citizens and members of their local, national, and international communities. Now, these are noble aims, and we are here today to reflect and make decisions because we are part of this noble movement that we choose to care. We are volunteers, we are supporters, and professional leaders to all the scouts who inspire us to do better. Our duty is to coach and guide the young citizens of this country so that they are equipped to lead us peacefully to the future with dignity. Now, scouting plays an important role in every civilized community today. Now, besides its reputation as a program for character building, it is an effective solution to juvenile delinquency as well. Now, youth engage in substance abuse after sports brawls. I hope that there will be none after this Coca-Cola <laughs> games today. Petty break-ins and other mischief when they are idle or when they lack proper motivation and guidance from adults. Now, scouting, like other character molding programs, offers an avenue for youth to share their challenges, their aspirations, and feel appreciated as they complement the leadership effort and support of their parents and teachers. Now, furthermore, scouting programs foster friendship, teamwork, tolerance, understanding, and perseverance to those around them. It is, vital, it is a vital force in the lives of young boys and girls, and the program they take part in allows them to develop holistically. Now, we need to continue our efforts to bring scouting into the lives of the boys and girls who need help in this country. Besides doing our bit to solve social problems in our communities, we shall be doing our traditional good turn by sharing the values and traits we derive from scouting with others who are not so fortunate. Additionally, I encourage all scouts in Fiji to join me in promoting a fit and healthy nation by eating more locally produced and fresh foods and exercise exercising daily, including doing some farming and gardening. Our nation uses hundreds of millions of dollars annually to meet our medical bills. Now, if we have a fit and healthy nation, we could reduce the unacceptably high rate of deaths caused by non-communicable diseases like diabetes and heart attacks. Now, NCDs cause the death of about 80% of our people who are below the age of 70. The statistics are alarming. It is a sad fact of life. It is a clear, present threat to this country and this region. We've got to change our lifestyles. And the scouting movement can help in that regard. We could also channel some of those funds to other areas in education, youth development, sports, infrastructural development, and the list goes on. As scouts, I ask that we lead by example in our attempts to live long, healthy, and happier lives. 
I once again acknowledge your individual and collective voluntary efforts in providing valuable services to the community and the youth of Fiji. I sincerely hope that our joint efforts will contribute to the positive progress of our nation. And I have the much, I now have much pleasure in declaring this annual general meeting open. May Almighty God bless you all and our beloved nation of Fiji and our friends in the Pacific. Thank you.